Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, I'll be feeding a few tarantulas today for my lovely subscribers. I'm going to start off with my, hopefully, female Hypactera porcrips. And she's just moving around a little bit there. And you can see the absolute beautiful colours on her. So I'll be feeding her one of them American cockroaches that always keep climbing everywhere and they're very annoying. So let's uh, give her a feed and let's see if she's hungry. Here goes everyone. They all seem to go in the water, did <laughs> If she don't um, take it down, then she might be going into primal. Hopefully that will um, tell me if it's a male or female next month. I'll be a bit surprised if she's not. There we go. I thought we might be on group. Yeah, there we go. And that's the first one done. So let's go on to the uh, next one. So everyone, I was going to feed my e pacapus my stout-legged baboon. But she has freshly malted. I've just noticed just this second. She's just down her burrow. So let's take out the malt. So same again. I won't, um, I won't feed her for about uh, a week or so. But depends depends when she malted. Um the malt's um yeah it's a little bit crispy so she might have malted a few days ago. But like I said, she's down her burrow, so let's have a quick look at her. And there she is there guys with a chunky back legs just like a king baboon. But yeah, she's looking absolutely beautiful. Um the water, the water dish has got water inside, so that should be okay for her to have a drink when she decides to come out of her burrow. So yeah, I'll leave her there, let her um, chill out. I was just going to put the lid on everyone, and she just, just decided to come out of her burrow. So I thought I'd uh, just give you a quick look at her. She's looking absolutely stunning now with her, with her beautiful colours and her chunky back legs. So yeah. So let's go on to the next one everyone. Next up everyone is my 4 inch female M. Balfouri, my uh, daughter Courtney. She will be uh, feeding this tarantula today, so she'll be feeding it a Mario worm. So let's just turn the uh, enclosure around. Okay, here it goes. There we go. Mm, so we're definitely hungry. Eh? Mm. Yeah, so I'll leave her to uh, enjoy a meal and uh, let's go on to the next one. Next up, everyone, is my suspect female, my Bracky Palmer Vaggins. Uh, my daughter will be uh, feeding this one as well, a Mario worm. So let's just take the lid off. Here goes everyone. As you know everyone, these have huge appetites. And I'm hoping she's a female. She's getting fairly big now. She's probably about the three inch mark. So after, next month I will be um, rehousing her into a bigger enclosure so yeah she should uh, definitely enjoy that everyone 
fairly big meal for her. And then I won't feed her for at least three to four weeks after this now because her abdomen is looking a little bit large. So it's nice and plump. So yeah, and uh, let's go on to the next one. Next up everyone is my three inch female D Darsamentis. And my daughter's gonna feed it another Mario worm. And there she is just there. Hopefully it should come out. There we go. You can see the fangs. A bit surprised this one's eating because it's uh, very fussy on food sometimes or just doesn't really eat much. It hasn't got um, a massive appetite. So yeah, so she'll uh, definitely tuck into that and uh, let's go on to the next one. So everyone, last but not least is my Syropacopus minax. Um, suspect male, and it's just down its burrow there. So I thought I was going to feed it the last Mario worm I've got left. So hopefully it should um, sense the movement from the Mario worm. And it should come out and eat its dinner. Here it comes. Yeah, there we go. A lot of fang action in this video for you guys. For my lovely subscribers. That's an eating for a, a couple of weeks or so. So yeah. My daughter, she's been, um, she's got used to me uh, keeping Trantler. She's nearly 11 now, so over the years she's got used to it. So yeah, I'll leave that one to uh, enjoy its meal. And uh, thanks for watching everyone.